Gibson. Oh, why, uh, good morning, Billy. You were bright and early this morning, and I must say that you are a joy to behold. Oh, thank you. Mm. Listen, I've got to be downtown by 8 to apply for a job. I hope my cleaning's ready. For you, sweetheart, it has got to be ready. Mm. Right with your champ. Haven't seen you in a long time, Mr. Gibson. Oh, that's because I've been over on Stanton Avenue opening up another place. Oh, that makes number three now, right? Yeah, first of the year will be four. <laughs> oh, go on with your bad self. Yeah, I'm just working behind the counter because the chick that I hired you up and quit last night, huh? Change. Uh, listen, you know, I know I asked you this before, but uh, are you interested in working for me? I don't know, but I'll think about it. <laughs> You do that. Let me know what you say, all right? Mm-hmm. I sure will. See, now what in the hell do you think? Giant turkey. I'll have him blow your head way off in the back. Look, back off! Come, Come to back think off. of it, I'm going to start on this way. <laughs> And the dude that was standing by the door had on a brown leather jacket, blue shirt, white pants, and brown shoes. Anything else? Yeah, he had a button missing off his jacket. And who found you, Mr. Gibson? Josh there. And I still wouldn't have been found if he hadn't been sneaking off in the storeroom to take a nip of that, that, that cough medicine of his. And don't you think I don't know about that either, Tom? Mr. Gibson. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll get somebody down here to see if they can lift some fingerprints. Just might help. Mm -hmm. And then what? We'll be back in touch with you just as soon as we can. Oh, oh, don't you give me none of that be in touch, Jai. This ain't some funky Central Avenue cat that you can kiss off with that same old bull. This is Dewey Gibson, and I got connections downtown. And I want you to know, I did not work my butt off for the past 20 years to let anybody come in here and just rip me off and get away with stuff like that. Find them turkeys. Do the best we can. That thing doing nothing but jiving me. You're shucking and jiving, Dewey, Dewey Gibson. Mr. Gibson, we have already looked at some pictures. You're more than welcome to, when you have time to come down to the station and go through the entire mug file. When? When? <coughs> when you have time. The hell you mean when I got time? I got time right now. Blow my head off. This is the turkey right here. <clears throat> Pull his pockets. Let's see if we haven't got a couple of addresses for him. Gibson, as of right now, you are the only witness that's going to be at Evans' preliminary. You might be the only one at his trial. L lighten up, Jack. This is Dewey Gibson. I mean, that legal, legal stuff don't scare me none. This turkey Evans don't scare me none. And you cats don't scare me none. I mean, I've been out here on the street since I was 10 years old doing everything from shining shoes to running numbers. I didn't get to be where I'm at or as clean as I am by being scared. Get the dude into coat and I will point him out. I will run my finger right down his throat and out his ear, if that's what you want. You have to. <laughs> Say, look here, champ. If you came home and found some turkey messing with your old lady, what you gonna do? Don't ask him. He's never home. All right. Dewey, was the gun that you had registered? Hey, look, Jack, this is good doing Dewey Gibson. Of course it was registered. I believe in doing things righteous. Right? Like chasing some guy out of your apartment for six blocks down the street, shooting a gun at him? Nobody messes with Dewey Gibson's old lady, man. And Gibson... Nobody mess. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. What's so funny? No nothing. Evans' preliminary is tomorrow at 2 o'clock, and our only witness is here. Charge. Assault with deadly weapon. Dewey Gibson. 
That's very funny. Ha ha. You, you, you better be glad I didn't catch up with the turkey. The plans or something? Dude, honey. Don't be doing me. I will be back when I get back. If I come back. You know what I mean? Where you're supposed to be and where you're going to be is two different places. So they drive me back to this house, put me in a room in a garage, and then the cat just wallops me a couple of times. Then had nerve enough to say, say, look, Jack, we're going to take it easy on you if you clear town. Till their friend uh, Harry gets cool with the law. Now, you know I wasn't going to go for that. And I told him that you can go just straight to, you know. And that's when the cat really lets me have it. And then, zoom, I hit the floor. And then, then he straddles me and he, and, he, and he pins my arms down with his knees, you know. Yeah. And then this big, ugly galoot aims that pistol right at my head. And that's when that other creepo gave him the, the pills. Pills? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A big plastic bag full of all colors and shapes and everything. No, no, what? Go on. So anyway, the dude with the gun takes the pills, crams them in my mouth, and says, I will blow a hole right through your head if you don't swallow them. <laughs> you know I didn't want to go for that. So they kept doing this thing over and over and over again. Man, I'm telling you, I must have swallowed more pills than they got in this whole damn hospital before I passed out, that is. Can you tell us where the house is? Tell you, man, I will show you where the house is. Oh, hold it, hold it, man. Say, look, I want to be there when you put the cuffs on the turkeys, cousin. I promise. I'll tell you the whole thing. Oh, no, no. that ain't gonna be the same. That won't be the same. See, you cats didn't think I was gonna show up, did you, huh? Oh, no, man, we knew you would. It's just good to see you, my friend. Let me tell you something. If that Evans dude got any more friends he want to send my way, I got something for him. Champa got my head, got my stuff. Do it. Hey, man. Well, this is a court of law. I don't care what it is, man. This is uh, just Shh. my piece and it's registered. No, do it. Don't, man. Don't. Do it. I'm telling you, you cannot take that in there. Well, I ain't going in there without him. Do it. It's against the law. You go in there with that piece and something can happen. See, I don't care, champ. This is good time, Dewey Gibson, and I can take the rap. And from now on, wherever I go, I'm going fully dressed, meaning that my stuff going with me. You hip to what I'm saying? Now, in case you cats just don't want me to testify, toodles. Okay, Dewey. I guess after what's happened to you, I can't say that I blame you. Now, we can't give you permission. So be careful. Promise. All right. Dude. Mm -hmm. The state of...